is the number of members of Club X greater than the number of members of Club Y? Statement number one tells us that of the members of Club X, 20% are also members of Club Y. So 20% 0 0.2 times X equals what I'll call the overlap region. The overlap region being that region right there. Well, the trouble is we have no idea. So those people, those 20% of X, they're in Y. We have no idea how many other people are in Y. There could be three other members in Y. There could be 3,000 other members in Y. We have no idea. So from this fact alone, we cannot figure out which group is greater. So this statement by itself is insufficient. Now forget statement number one, focus purely on statement number two. Of the members of Club Y, 30% are also members of Club X. So 30%, 0.3 times Y, this also equals the overlap. But again, the same problem. We know that that 30% of Y, they're members of X, but we have no idea how many other members of X there are. And again, there could be just two members or there could be 200,000 members. We have no idea. So this statement by itself is insufficient. But now very interesting, when we combine the statements, statement number one, statement number two, well, now we know that the overlap, that overlap, those people that are in both clubs, they account for 20% of X and they account for 30% of Y. Well, now we have an equation. In fact, we could set up a ratio to 0.2 over 0.3 equals Y over X, or in other words, two over three equals y over x. Well, now we know that the members of x and the member of y are in a ratio of 2 to 3, so we know that x has more members. So when we combine the two statements, we do have sufficient information to answer, and so that means that the answer is C.